Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Summer 2024 Release Showcase. We're excited to have you here today and have just a few logistics to cover at the top. First, we're going to be reserving plenty of time to answer your questions, so be sure to submit those in the Q&A box found at the bottom of your Zoom screen. We're also going to be recording today's session and sharing that recording with all of you, so if you need to give your note-taking hands a break, it's a good day to do so. I'm Hope, and I'm here on the product team at NextHealth. I'm joined by my wonderful co-host, Caitlin, as well as a team of folks to help answer your questions. We're joined by Adrian and Daniel, two of our product managers, as well as Matt and Sabrina to help answer questions in the chat. If you have anything you'd like to know, again, drop them in that Q&A box. We're all here today because every practice wants to boost productivity, profitability, and patient satisfaction. You can do that in three key areas of the patient experience. For example, intake. This is a moment of first impression with your practice and automating and streamlining this workflow can help you worry more about patient care without data entry or admin. Of course, insurance verification. This is a huge pain point for practices and doing it properly can prevent denied claims and surprise bills for your patients. And of course, when it comes time for the patient to pay, you can build transparency and trust with your patients with a better payment collections process. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Caitlin, tell us a bit more about what's coming to Forms and Check-In. Thanks, Hope. I'm so excited to show you all the ways that you can simplify your forms automation process and save even more time on patient paperwork. We're also going to be looking at how that extends into the waiting room with a new patient check-in experience. But to start, we're introducing smart forms, which help you send the right form to the right patient at the right time, all by setting up easy to create rules within the forms themselves in Nexhealth. This will allow you to auto request the right forms for each patient procedure or appointment type, easily keep patient information up to date with recurring requests like that medical history that you want updated every year, as well as other forms like consents, and also trigger smarter reminders to patients about incomplete forms so that we make sure as many forms get completed before the patients come into the office. And once your patients arrive for that office, you can go ahead and cancel the clipboard and eliminate that check-in line. With the new kiosk mode for iPads in the Next Health iPad app, patients are able to check themselves in and then complete any outstanding forms with just a few clicks. This enables you to spend more front office time actually engaged with your patients, catching up with them and making them feel seen and heard instead of focusing on that transactional nature of verbally confirming patient information in order to mark an appointment as checked in or loading the right forms up on the iPad. This will reduce the wait times for patients by offering this digital check-in. It will let patients quickly fill out their forms and again, give you time back to focus on that patient care. And before we jump into this, I want to introduce a couple key characters that will help kind of ground us in our journey today through this summer's updates. First, we have Katherine Murphy, our new patient based in Austin, Texas, who has booked her first appointment with Alpine Health. On the Alpine Health side, we have Jason, the office manager, and Tamika, who's our marketing analyst, and we'll be seeing more of all of these folks in just a little bit. So let's see how smart forms work. Jason's on his forms page in Nexelf, and he sees he has a new way to send forms automatically based on certain patient or appointment criteria. So Jason's gonna go ahead and click get started, which brings him to his new edit forms page. And here he can view which forms are being sent out automatically via reminders, such as this patient information form, and also click the three buttons in order to jump into editing form details. And this is where the automation magic really happens. Within the form, Jason's able to edit certain information like form type, whether it will be sent to patients automatically, and different patient demographic and procedure and appointment information that's being read directly from his health record system. 
And since Catherine is a new patient, she automatically receives this patient information form based on the rules set by Jason, fills it out on the go, which of course automatically syncs back to her file in Jason's health record system. Once Catherine arrives for her appointment, she's able to take advantage of kiosk mode and check herself in so that she can get to know the office manager a little better and make sure Alpine Health is the right fit for her. She'll click check in, find her name on the list of patients for the day, and then click check in next to her appointment time. Catherine will verify her date of birth and then go ahead and check in. Once she's on the screen, she can either send the forms to her phone to fill them out, or she'll find here she hasn't completed her medical history. So she'll go ahead and continue, set this up so that the office has that baseline of her health history, make sure she's filled every section out, and then go ahead and submit that. This will also go directly to her file, and she can email herself a copy of the forms if she wants. Now let's say it's a year later and Catherine needs to fill out an updated medical history like we want our patients to each year. We can set this up in smart forms so that the medical history will send to existing patients once a year based on when their last appointment and their last filled out medical history was. And this way, Jason can save himself tons of time on both in-office check-in as well as those recurring forms like medical history. We see here a year later, Catherine just has to review her existing health history, note any changes, and then go ahead and submit when she comes in for her cleaning. With that, I'm gonna turn it back over to Hope and she's going to take us through Next Health's latest offering that I think you're all gonna be pretty excited about. Insurance verification has been our number one feature request for a long time. We know it's a time-consuming and sometimes frustrating process to manually verify patients' insurances. In fact, when we surveyed last month, most office managers said it actually takes twice as long as the doctor thinks it does. That's why we're excited to introduce you to NextHealth Verification, a new product that brings that time down to just seconds. With NextHealth Verification, you'll be able to automatically or on demand verify patient eligibility against over 900 of the top payers. That means you'll be able to proactively engage patients about insurance issues before they come in, not only preventing any denied claims, but also ensuring patients aren't surprised by their bills. That means you're not only going to spend less time contacting payers and chasing account receivable, but you'll have more time to spend directly engaging with patients. Speaking of engaging with patients, NextHealth Verification also includes a coverage PDF that will allow you to walk patients through their remaining benefits. We all know that when a patient understands their coverage, they're able to make more competent decisions about the treatment recommended in your office. And the NextHealth Synchronizer will ensure that this doesn't create any extra busy work for you. We're going to auto-sync the coverage summaries into your practice management system. So you'll be able to have an exact copy of what was provided to the patient on the day of their care without having to do any data entry. And of course, even after you've been reimbursed by an insurance claim, patients may still have a balance. You may remember earlier this year, NextHealth introduced LedgerSync. LedgerSync reads the patient balances from your ledger in Open Dental or Dentrix and allows you to send batch payment requests to patients. It's also a particularly smart feature because it automates your payment reminders and when a patient completes a payment, will auto-sync it back into your ledger. We're excited to announce that this feature is now available for Open Dental, with Dentrix coming later in July. So if you haven't already had the discussion with us yet, we'd be happy to start it with you. We're also excited to share that LedgerSync is getting even better we're now introducing an automated payment statement fe feature so that patients will know exactly what it is that they're being charged for. This will save you time on the digital statements because it's syncing all of that information from your ledger. You also don't have to spend time putting stamps on an envelope or printing them out. And you can build trust with your patients because they can expect a transparent billing sta statement. But of course, we all wanna see it in action. So let's take a look. So let's return to Jason. 
When Jason comes in in the morning, he notices that Catherine Murphy, who has an appointment today, has an issue flagged with her insurance. He can identify it quickly from the home screen based on that little insurance icon. Luckily, Jason has next health, so he can easily reach out to Catherine via text message to just check in about her insurance coverage and make sure they have the right information. Catherine is then able to quickly reply that, yes, actually, she got a new insurance and here's the card. With that card in hand, Jason can then verify her new insurance on demand. He just enters the coverage information and selects verify. It'll then process in just a few seconds, and he'll be able to review exactly what's going on with her insurance right here in Nexo. If he wants to dig into a little bit more detail, he can access the eligibility PDF here in Nexo or in the health record system. That PDF includes a breakdown of all of her coverage information. And by looking at that breakdown, he can see that Catherine does in fact actually have quite a bit of preventative coverage left. So today, all he needs to do is collect her copay. But let's say that Catherine decided to elect some additional procedures. When it comes time for her to pay, Jason can then pull those charges out of the health record system and send her that detailed patient statement. From Catherine's perspective, it could not be easier. She's able to not only access her statement from her cell phone or really anywhere she is on the go, but she can also review exactly what it is that she's being charged for, as well as what insurance is actually already paid for, allowing her to make the confident decision to go ahead and pay her bill in full today. All she needs to do is enter her credit card information here on her phone, and when that payment has been completed, it's going to sink back into Alpine Ledger, ensuring that Jason doesn't have to worry and Catherine is ready to go. Of course, we've already talked about three major parts of the patient journey. You have profitability, productivity, and patient satisfaction. But it's also important to make sure that you can grow your practice at scale. That's why we're introducing several features that are going to be particularly useful for our large DSO audience, as well as any multi-location practices. You can manage and control data access with more granular permissions and roles to help you efficiently onboard team members. We also are introducing SSO, again, really helpful for large practices, to make it easier for your IT staff. And if you want to save the IT staff even more time, there's a directory sync so they don't have to set up any new users. And of course, everyone wants to know how NextHealth has been performing for them. So now you can export that data to build custom reporting. So let's look at it from the Alpine Health perspective. Jason has a new employee here at Alpine Health, a new marketing analyst named Tamika. So all he needs to do to get her set up is come in and create that role for marketing analysts. This allows him to create permissions that are not only for Tamika, but also for any future analysts that they hire. For example, a big part of their job is going to be analytics and campaigns. So they'll get admin permissions on those. But for sensitive areas like payments, they probably don't need access at all. Then for everything else, it might be helpful for them to have a view of what's happening in NextHealth without interacting with the patients. Now that role is ready to be assigned to any future analysts. When it comes time to create their user, you'll create it just like before, but select the role so all of those permissions are already created for you. On Tamika's first day, she can get started right away by logging into NextHealth with SSO. No need to create a new username or password. A big part of her role is also gonna be analytics. So coming into our new custom CSV export, she can come in and create a new data export from information in NextHealth, just selecting the locations, which tables she'd like to pull from. In this case, she wants to talk more about what's going on with their appointments. So she can export appointment data and choose whether it was appointments created or updated in the last month. You can then generate a preview so you can review exactly what it is you're going to be exporting before you hit the button. That export will be delivered into Tamika's email inbox, where she can then view that information in NextHealth and download the CSV. That CSV includes everything that she could want to know. 
And from that data, she can create custom reports to see, for example, that Next Health has been getting them more appointments than their marketplace. And those appointments are showing up at a higher rate. So it could be an indicator that it's time for Alpine Health to reallocate their marketplace budget. But of course, we all wanna get our hands on these updates. So Caitlin, tell us a little bit about when these are going to be released. Thanks, Hope. There's so much to be excited about. And if you're anything like me, you want to start using it right away. Well, fortunately, we have quite a bit that's available and ready to be used in your Next Health accounts today. Just keep in mind that a couple of these are premium add-ons where you're going to want to talk to a member of the Next Health team. We've got links in the chat if you'd like to book time, and we'll also have resources coming to you in an email shortly. Then later this summer, you can expect Ledger Sync and Statements to be ready with Dentrix, Smart Forms to be rolling out where we will have in-depth trainings available, as well as a forms portion of iPad kiosk mode, that will be a great add-on for any kind of office that wants to automate that entire check-in process. In terms of resources and next steps, we've updated our help center with a ton of new articles that will help you learn more about these updates since there's only so much we can go into on a webinar and we want everybody to be able to read about it and watch a couple helpful videos. And we'll also be sending out today's recording so you can watch it on demand, or if you have a colleague or someone else in your practice who wasn't able to make it, go ahead and send it over to them. And you can automatically register yourself for future webinars so that you get a recording each and every time. <laughs> 